And we've been able to break some surprisingly complex logic using the, these simple, te uh, simple mutation techniques and uh, some feedback from, uh, from our program. Um, so I've eliminated, eliminated uh, constraint solving from, uh, from my fuzzing, which I've considered a major bottleneck for a while. And in lots of current research that uh, plug constraint solvers into fuzzing, I found that, that uh, this, is, this is a bottleneck holding them back from, from uh, really uh, uh, um, finding some excellent results. Um, so I've, got, I have, I've had some demonstrations, but unfortunately I've had to switch laptops and my demonstration won't work here, but um, I've been able to find some really amazing bugs using this technique. Um, I've been able to find uh, remote ring zeros in Internet Explorer, for example, because it exposes, uh, as Microsoft puts some of the uh, image handling uh, uh, code into GDI, which is uh, inserted into the kernel. Um, I've been able to just visit a simple web page, a web page and uh, have it find uh, remote ring zero exploits, um, that, uh, which are currently being, uh, uh, I've reported to Microsoft and I think they're going to be fixed this Tuesday or maybe uh, next past Tuesday or something like that. Um, uh, so Flayo is um, um, a framework that I've been working on with Will Drury at Google. It's based on Valgrind Vex and uh, basically the idea of Flayo is uh, to instrument programs at runtime and strip away the, uh, the complexity of the protocol so basically, so it looks no different from uh, from dev random. Uh, so we did this by defining by extending the defineness check that's used by memcheck and others. If you use Valgrind, you know that it uh, it prints out uh, if you've uh, touched uh, undefined memory. Uh, it lets you know the address of that, and we uh, we extended that check to to essentially taint any input that an attacker can that an attacker can control. So Flayer takes a regular application that passes some complex data, and it essentially it'll make dev random an effective fuzzer. So you can just pipe dev and into, I uh, don't know, Apache, and, and it'll find bugs. Um, so at the moment, this is a very manual process. Uh, we published the, this idea in uh, Usenix, and uh, others have extended the idea, such as um, uh, people have added constraint solving into it and things like this. And uh, we think there's really some exciting potential um, uh, 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 for more research in this area. Um, so how does Flayer work? It taints the, the, uh, the user input and it traces the flow through the application uh, with bit level precision. Uh, so Flayer uh, monitors when a tainted condition is tested and it, it can tell whether the path should be taken or not. Because it's using DBI, you can flip the condition, condition and choose which path to take. Uh, so Flayer knows when an application is making a decision based on something that an attacker has provided it. Um, so we implemented some simple heuristics and um, and now we can make it decide whether an uh, uh, whether an attacker should have taken this code, whether the code should take this code path or not. And uh, so we can explore even more uh, uh, at the program. And uh, this way, we try to reach as much program as possible using coverage data. So we've found major vulnerabilities uh, using this technique in things like OpenSSL, OpenSSH, uh, libtiff, libpng, and uh, lots of others. Uh, so Flayer just basically strips away the protocol and making uh, DevU random an effective fuzzer. And we've uh, been combining these t techniques together to uh, really get some excellent results. And uh, we think this is, uh, especially DBI fuzzing in general, is a really exciting research area um, uh, with lots of cool stuff going on at the moment. Um, so unfortunately, I, I had some demos to show, but I can't show them from my laptop. Uh, so that's the, <laughs> I'm afraid that's the end of my presentation. Uh, okay, that's it. Process. Um, we define the instructions that we that we know how to handle um, right. uh, in our fuzzer. Yeah, so things like comparison, integer comparisons, okay. uh, uh, string comparisons, anything like this. We uh, we search the whenever we hit a new basic block, right. uh, we analyze the basic block and look for any instructions that we know how to handle. And we can assign a deep instruction uh, coverage score to. Okay. Anyone? Else? Okay. Deal. So, um, when you're looking at solving that CRC um, problem, figuring out CRC problems, um, what are the optimizations you can add to your hill climbing to look like a bit of a hill climbing and further look at the ground? So, trying to get into two different problems. So, not really. We were basically using very naive hill, uh, just simple hill climbing, determining when we're hitting a new code. And then uh, there, there wasn't any uh, logic uh, embedded to handle this. It would basically just magically work. It was uh, it found some really cool stuff. Yeah. So it was kind of unexpected that we would bypass CRC32 checks, um, but yeah, it worked. 
Anyone else? Okay. Oh. So uh, is Deep Cover part of Flare now? If we download Flare, we get all this with um, it? Not yet, but eventually it will be. Um, at the moment, I am, I'm porting it to Dynamo Rio because now it's under a BSD license, so it's, much, uh, it's available to do much more stuff with it. So, um, but shortly it will be part of Flare, yes. Okay. Um, thanks very much.